Hello, welcome back to ANSYS modeling of TSTOP. In the previous video, we went through the solid modeling of TSTOP uh, on the top of one supporting plate. In this video, we will do the same, but this time not with solid element. Instead, we are going to use shell elements. Again, I have to thank EDR Medeso for providing the license of ANSYS for this tutorial. Let's uh, continue with our uh, previous model. This is what we did. It was a solid mode number one. Uh, to save time and also accelerate the calculation, we can just duplicate uh, solid mode one module that we had earlier in the previous video. And after it's duplicated, we can change the name. Uh, to write for example shell mode number one also you can drag it to put it beside your first example or first module shell mode number one the engineering data it's the same as we had we just need to go to geometry and change the model to a shell element let's start with the easier part i just hide the t stop for here just copy and paste. Typically the place of this uh, surface is in the center of the element. So it means that it should be lower down for half of the thickness of this supporting plate, which is 25 millimeter. Just 12.5 millimeter. Then we can just suppress this and here is the surface that we... Now we need the washer area. I just turn it on one more time, select these two and then in the design tab we can use projected and hit the complete command. It's better to have a proper name supporting plate. And also usually I use the thickness in a space claim. You can set it also in mechanical APDL if you want. So 25 millimeter. And if you select it again, you can see that the offset type is in the middle. It's possible we change them to be in the bottom or top. Uh, we will have it in the rigid connection example that I'm going to record later. Now we can just suppress this from the calculation so it is not uh, going to be updated in the geometry of mechanical APDL. Now for TSTOP here we can select these, control copy paste and lower them down. If you do not know the thickness of this plate, you have some options. For example, select this and check from this length, which is 12 millimeter. The other option is select them and select the direction that you want. The other directions are freezed and then up to this place. So then we have it. I can just hide TSTOP and I'm going to connect these two together. So I can select this direction and then I have these two plates together. If you want to have one plate, you can just select them and from here you can combine. So here we have only one plate representing the flange. For having the web, we can just select this part, control copy and paste. Then we can move it in this direction to the center of the web here. And then we can extend it to this plate. Here it is. What is missing here is the root uh, in this modeling and video i'm going to explain how it should be done so here we have options for sheet metal which is not uh, the scope of this video to have the different flanges but here uh, typically it is modeled this way just the flange and the web and the effect of the weld if it is a welded profile or the root, if it is a hot rolled profile, is typically neglected. But here we will see how it affects the results. Then we can select the web and the, the thickness of the web for HEA240, it's 7.5 millimeter. And the flange is 
12 millimeter. So now we have um, everything and you can suppress for physics of the tiesta. The only thing that needs to be done is to um, define, for example, this web is rigidly connected to this flange. We have this option also in the APDL mechanical window to do. Uh, also, you can put those elements in one component and assign to share topology. That's another way. And also here we have workbench to share that uh, if you hit it, you can see that here we have one line that can be assumed to share the topology. So here we just complete the action and we can see different colors here by default. Uh, this is the free display. If I just turn them off for pins and edges, we can see only one edge is sharing the topology. Here we can see the uh, colors. If it is in blue, it means that it is connecting two surfaces. If it's in tri with triple connection here, we have one, two, three plates crossing each other, then the color is given here and also for multiple it going it's going to be the other color you can also select the desired color from here that's all so we can just close this window and then go to the mechanical apdl double click on model and updating the model as far as uh, we duplicated the previous uh, module here uh, we should have different uh, setup that we already used for the other case in this new version we have this uh, option to show the scoping wizard worksheet to show what needs to be modified for example here we can see that now we have three elements without any assignment meaning the material is missing so here it is done then we can go to the connection it doesn't know which element needs to be in contact so here we do not have those solid elements as a result we need to define them again so for the contact i select those four uh, faces and then for the other case which is the supporting plate i can select these so it shows that they are connected but still you can see that we need to assign as far as here we have the uh, shell elements here we need to define which side of the shell is in contact with the other parties. So when you see the contact in red, it shows its top. And also in the target, we can see it is in blue. So here, if I change it to bottom, here we can see that the bottom of the plate is in now in contact. And the other one should be top. So uh, here you can see, I can select this and hide the body here you can see the bottom of this flange is in contact of the top of the supporting plate that's fine the important note here is that at the moment they have a big gap between these two elements here the flange is 12 millimeter and it's 6 millimeter above the contact region. Also, the supporting plate is 25 millimeter, which is 12.5 millimeter far from the contact region. So in total, it is 18.5 millimeter difference between the contact zone and also the place that we already have the plates. So for this reason, we have two options to fix this. First is coming to here and shell thickness effects to be considered no or yes or here we can go to the bottom of this table geometric modification and then interface treatment add offset no ramping and here you can just write down 18.5 millimeter so this is very important especially in the initial loading of the section it can find the solution faster otherwise it might not be any contact and you might see a kind of error at the end the next is uh, applying the 
bolt so here the reference is now changed this face needs to be selected for the reference and also from the flange we can select that one to have it so now if we look at the bolt size this time it's 18.5 millimeter while it was 37 millimeter to have the same results and also more accurate results we need to change the position in y direction so we know that in the y direction this is not minus 12.5 instead it is minus 25 millimeter also for the mobile part it is not 6 millimeter above the zero line it is 12 millimeter so if we set it up we come back to the beam length we can see that it's 37 millimeter which is the correct length the same applies to the other case i select this face and change 6 to 12 millimeter also i will select the other part for the reference and change minus 20 minus 12.5 to minus 25 and the rest looks to be fine okay here we do not have face meshing we can just uh delete and have another face meshing here okay we have already nice mesh here that looks pretty good and then we need to have the big support and also the force is applied to this edge on the top so here uh, it says that it didn't consider for example some uh, faces to be meshed in mapping but it looks pretty good in the previous video i explained about this contact tool it is very important when you have the shell models to check this before you go for the solution so here we have only one frictionless surface supporting plate uh, the name is still as we assigned in the solid case uh, it is very important to understand uh, how it looks like before solving the model because it shows if there is a gap if they are not uh, as we expect here we can see that the penetration is almost zero and there is no gap if the color is not uh, uh, white then you need to check if it is uh, needed any modification or not so here we can see that the penetration is almost zero and the gap is zero millimeter now we can clear generated data and solve with the benefit of uh, shell modeling is that you have a faster solution and also you might not be interested in the uh, let's say inside a 3d full model you might be interested in only the stresses so in that case perhaps this is the uh, best option we can compare the results for sure with our solid model now we can go to solution information when it starts to converge to see how many uh, iterations might be needed the only thing is just waiting for the solution uh, if you remember you can see that in the solid model it started with 0.2 then 0.4 but here it started with 0.2 and then it jumped to 0.7 meaning that the solution will be achieved sooner than a solid model now it has been converged with 0.7 and it goes to the perhaps to 100 percent as the next level now here we can see that in the 100 percent applied load it could not converge and as a result it came back to above 0.7 that it has been converged earlier so then with uh, lowering the load now it started to converge with one iteration and then it starts to apply the load gradually from here as far as it could not converge immediately it showed that in 100% of the load it had some issues with the load with deformation with the uh, strain uh, or something like that we will come to this and the reason that why it happened 
and then it started to go back and then starting to converge with the lower value of the loads now it seems that it's coming to the 100% gradually so any uh, significant changes in the contact in the deformation uh, especially in nonlinear calculation might affect the solver engine and then it starts to do it uh, again with lowering the load so let's wait until it solves and we can analyze the results now we can see that the solution is done but uh, after 0 0.7 when it started to apply the 100 percent of the load it couldn't converge then it came back to lower values and you can see that uh, instead of solving it faster it couldn't solve it as we expected now let's have a look on the results so if you remember the deformation was less than one millimeter if i change it to one now it's coming to 35 millimeter it shows that the result is really not reliable equivalent stress not as we had in the other model you can see that the plastic strain is almost one contact tool it's it's reasonable but in the perimeter of the bolt hole we have four edges which is not as we expected also the load is 123 kilonewton which was around 90. So the main reason is that now the connection of the web to the flange is just direct contact with the line. So it doesn't have the effect of the root or if it was welded with this modeling, we do not have the effect of the weld or the root. So for solving this problem, let's come back to our geometry and modify our model. So here. From tier stuff, these two, this part and this part, copy and paste. Now we can move them to the center line. Okay, here, let's open a new window. Then go to move, and I will anchor to this point in the vertical direction up to here then i select one side with the proper anchor in horizontal direction towards this one and then the other case looks good remember to Go to workbench and share the topology because otherwise you will see that uh, they are not connected and then you will face errors here we are we have four lines sharing the topology that's all now we can come back to our model when it's updated, we might see some question marks as it is not the model that we had earlier. Here we are with geometry. We have two new surfaces here, these two. Okay, here we did not assign any thickness you have two ways modifying here or coming back to geometry it was good that i forget to do this as far as uh, if you modify it in uh, in mechanical apdl then you are not uh, able to change it anymore or whatever you do in a space claim it will not be applied to the mechanical apdl so that's why usually i change the thicknesses here that if i have modification coming to my model it is uh, already considered in the mechanical apdl so here it's better we assume that it's the same thickness of the web then we are good we can just come back to your model and then 
it is updated now you can see that the only missing part is the assignment of the material and then uh, check the contacts always here we had other faces now we have only two faces for contact this part this this and the other one you can select from here and now we have six contacts the other one is three that's fine so here and also the distance between those two is 18.5 nothing is changed from here now let's delete this part and have another face meshing and here we can select by box selected and these items here we can see that the effect of root is now considered in our model it looks pretty good the mesh looks also nice always check the contact tool to have the correct gap between the elements especially in the shell modeling so here we can see that the penetration is almost zero and there is no gap so we do not have any issue there then just clear data and now let's solve it you can follow the solution information with the force convergence so it's starting to make the mathematical model and after that we will see how many iterations would be required to finish this analysis now we just need to wait now here we can see that the solution is completed in only 13 iterations which means that if you have shell model in a proper way then you will have uh, quite reasonable results uh, with less effort and shorter period of time so here um, in the solid model it was something around 72 millimeter which the result is quite reasonable equivalent stress we can see that compared to the solid model it looks again in the reasonable level as we expect and for the plastic strain compared to solid model it was more than 0, 0.015 and here the maximum is 0, 0.008 for the contact tool here we can see that it's more spreaded to this uh, area in the solid model it was this way so again could be acceptable and the values 98 compared to 92 again this is I think it's it's acceptable so this is uh, compared to our MATCAD uh, it should be 92 and the difference is less than even 10 percent so the results uh, would be quite reasonable that's it and then you can just save your project and go to the next level that is the end of this uh, video we went through the uh, same t-stop modeling for failure phase one or mode number one uh, and we compare the shell model with the solid model uh, how to model the shell model uh, to have reasonable results compared to a solid model have been 
discussed. In the next video, I will go through the other two phases with the shell model uh, or mode number two, mode number three with the smaller bolt sizes. And we will compare all the three results to understand better prime force, failure modes, and so forth. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.